Hi guys, welcome back to another redstone tutorial video. Today I want to show you how you can make a simple three-directional machine. And that three-directional machine could, for example, pull up a layer of blocks or push it down. Could also attach a TNT duper to it. All right, I'm gonna launch this. The machine is pushed forward, block on each end. And now yeah, it's doing the work. Got a sticky piston there that pulls up some orange glass blocks there. Could also, of course, use a normal piston to push down. All right, so at the end of each yeah, turn, the machine is getting pushed forward one block, and of course the stations in the back move forward two blocks. And here's a block-by-block -block tutorial showing you how you can build this. So we're going to start with two slime blocks like this, then add a sticky piston that points into it, and a sticky piston that points away from it. Then you add two more slime blocks right here. And you want to add an observer that points into the slime block powering the bottom sticky piston. You also want to add an observer here at the top that powers the top sticky piston. Then you add observers on both sides at the top slime block pointing away from the flying machine. All right. Then you want to add two redstone blocks here at the bottom two slime blocks. And now we can work on the return stations. Okay, so we're going to go out a couple of blocks and place down a normal piston that faces this way. Here's an observer pointing up and a normal piston facing this way and some slime blocks connecting to the piston below. Then a sticky piston here, an observer that powers it, and we're going to add four slime blocks like this. And here we're going to have a downwards facing observer again, sticky piston, two slime blocks in front, and then one, two, three, four, five slime blocks right there. Okay, then we're going to add a normal piston right here and another piston there. We just need to add an observer here in the back powering this piston. All right, what we can also do is now attach the piston that pulls up the block, so we can also add a piston that pushes the blocks. Um, you could in theory attach it here, it's already getting powered, um, but if you have like a, yeah, a solid layer of blocks, then they might attach to the slime block there. So this might work in some cases where for a limited amount of blocks that doesn't extend to the side, then you could attach here. But it's also no problem just to add another slime block there, piston, and yeah, another observer powering it. So then you don't need to worry about yeah the blocks extending to the side. Okay, then we just need another return station on the other side as well. And this is going to have an offset of one block, obviously. So first we're going to yeah, move the flying machine towards this way. Then it's getting pushed one block forward and then it's going to activate this piston. Okay, it's, of course, uh, yeah, it depends where you want to place this. Of course, it should cover the full length of your platform. So I'm just going to build it up here, but of course it could be further away. All right, so we need one piston facing this way. Then again, server up. Normal piston this way, slime blocks that way. Then we're going to add another sticky piston there. Observer and four slime blocks. Downwards facing observer, sticky piston, two slime blocks, then five slime blocks. Dead. Going to add the normal piston here and the other normal piston there. Just add an observer in the back. All right, then this thing is ready to go. Let's launch it here, use a fire charge and activate it. It's getting pushed forward. Now on the other end as well. And of course you can always stop this flying machine just by placing a non-movable block like an obsidian in the front. Alright, that's it. Hope this might be useful for you. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.